please. Maintain your speed. Hi, Deborah, also known as Dewage42. Welcome back to my channel for some more driving tips. <sighs> this time is about maintaining your speed. I know there are times when you have to slow down and you have to speed up for whatever reasons. But if you're on an open road, let's say the speed limit's at 65, and you keep slowing down to 45 and then speeding up to 70 and slowing down. No. Most modern cars nowadays have cruise control. Learn how to use it, please. Most of the time when I'm on a highway, I use my cruise control, A, so I don't speed too much and get a ticket, and B, because it's more efficient that way. Click it in, let it go. My speed is not changing. You, on the other hand, who race up behind me, pass me like your ass is on fire, and then end up in front of me slowing down again, are one of the reasons I want to have phaser cannons on my car. So I can just push that button and just, you know, set phasers to obliterate. I know, not very sweet. But it's things like that that cause road rage. Dude, if you cannot maintain a speed, now I'm not talking where traffic is interfering and you have to slow down for things, don't be a moron. I'm talking about slowing down for no apparent reason, or maybe no apparent reason than you're playing with your freaking phone and not paying attention to the world around you. Put your phone down. Stop playing with it. Set your sat nav before you leave, or if you have to make more adjustments, pull over first. You shouldn't be playing with your phone while you're on the road and you should be maintaining your speed when you're on it. Yeah, sort of a dual rant today. Maintain your speed and get off your damn phone. There is no need to play with your phone while you're on the road. You know what? For many, 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 many years, we drove without phones. I know, it's hard to think. We were out of touch and out of communication for a whole hour at a time sometimes. Holy crap, what would we do? We talked with other people in the car, listened to the radio, and we drove. Now, I could say similar things about people dealing with actively lit fires in the car while they're driving, and then flinging that shit out the window to land on my car. But stop playing with your phone. Maintain your speed. Pay attention to what's in front of you and what's behind you and to the sides. I can't pay attention to all that at once. It's just too much. If that's too much for you, get out from behind the wheel. You shouldn't be driving. It's more like, I can't pay attention to that and then check my Facebook and tweet to my friends and send a text at the same time. No, you can't. That's why you should not be doing those things. You should also not be applying your makeup, changing your clothes. Yeah, I used to do that when I was younger. Very young. While driving a stick shift, mind you. Yes, girl had talent. But you should not be doing these things. No, I shouldn't have been doing those things then. But now, we are supposed to know better. Stop. Stop endangering other people's lives with your stupidity and with your willful ignorance. I really wish that we had more training and more testing to be able to drive in this country. In most countries in the free world, you have to take a lot of tests and training to be allowed to drive. And they even have different class of licenses where you can drive on these roads, but you can't get on the highways and things like that. I don't know if it's time to start implementing even more legislative nonsense, especially with the current administration. That's another rant for another day. But, man, you can drive like a good driver without a lot of training. All you have to do is pay attention to the world around you, put down your damn phone, Stop fiddling with your sat-nav. 
Put your hands on the damn wheel and open your eyes and ears to what's going on around you. I am tired of coming up to ignorant drivers causing accidents. Something to think about. Most accidents are completely and utterly preventable. Yeah. Because most accidents are caused by people doing something stupid or not paying attention to what they're doing or where they're going or the people around them. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it, okay? <sighs> Don't drive like an asshole. Maybe I should name this as a series. Yeah, the Don't Drive Like an Asshole series. It's better than some things I could come up with. A lot more safe for work, too. Hmm. I have other my takes about things not related to driving. A bunch of them are up here. All the driving ones are right here. Subscribe over here. And please click like before you go. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.